Hi everyone and welcome back to my country house in the Dordogne. Um, our video team have been out looking at some fabulous properties over the last few weeks. Um, and although this property isn't a countryside property, it's in Paris, I really am delighted to be able to watch it for the first time with yourselves. Um, I was always a city girl before I moved to the Dordogne. Not sure if you're looking at holiday homes in the Dordogne or you're looking at skiing or you're looking at a lovely romantic city apartment or city villa. Um, so we're going to discover this one now. It's a villa, apparently. It's only 15 kilometres from Paris, so a 20-minute commute for those that want a little bit of countryside but still need the city. So I'm going to start it now and let's see what it's like. Oh, so we're starting off with a lovely tree. Oh, what a gorgeous entrance. See some greenhouses to the left there as we come into the entrance. Love greenhouses. Um, so this is beautifully finished. In fact, it, even though it's 15 minutes from the centre of Paris, it looks like it's in the countryside. So what a really lovely mix of countryside and city, city life. Um, as you can come see here, we're going into the gardens. It looks like a drive-in, drive-out drive, which is always very useful. And parking is obviously great to be so close to Paris with parking. Very, very neat property. Lots of nature. Look at some of those trees. I mean, those trees are really ancient. Beautiful shade they'll offer in the summer. And these beautiful walkways with tiled sort of floors. Really gorgeous, lovely garden plot there. Looks like a nice vegetable plot. So we're looking at all of the exterior. So you can see that it's a really well-established garden, which I really love. Do you like gardening? I'm absolutely a keen gardener. And those greenhouses would be just absolutely ideal for me. Let me know what you think. Um, and let me know your comments about this property as we're going through as well. So here we're coming into what looks like an orchard. Obviously it's winter at the moment or coming into spring. Um, so you can imagine how beautiful that's going to look. Oh, wow. Now that is an amazing entrance. Loving the colour. I wonder whether you like colours or not. Let me know what you think. Beautiful, beautiful furniture. Really nice design. That's a really, I wasn't expecting that when we uh, came into the property. It's really gorgeous. And it, all of those double um, aspect windows looking out onto the garden. It looks even like that might be a balcony. It's a terrace. Yes, it is a balcony, so it's a raised level. Now, that is really spectacular. Oh, look at that fireplace. Beautifully dressed. The owners of this house have really got some good taste. Very arty, very, very much my style. Is it your style? What do you think? Let me know. Fabulous kitchen. They've got some great pieces of furniture in there as well. Butcher's block there on the right. Really loving that. Such a good entertaining space. So this actually is probably a home. It's not a holiday home. This is somewhere where you could live. You could have your countryside sort of a part, you know, space. You've got your garden, you've got your vegetable patch, and then you can jump in the car and be in the centre of Paris for the Moulin Rouge and the Eiffel Tower and all the shopping within 15 minutes. Oh, they've got a giraffe. I've actually got a giraffe myself. Just saw the art. Really gorgeous property. So these must be the bathrooms that we're coming into. Jacuzzi bath there. Oh, wow, look at that bedroom. With the double aspects, all of the light, the amazing fireplaces. That's beautiful fireplace. Now, this property has actually got 6,500 square metres of land, which is really, really big for a Paris location. Fabulous second bedroom there. Very, very nice style. Loads of space and loads of light. I think that's the thing I've noticed most. I don't know whether you've uh, noticed all of these doors are going open onto that open balcony. It's lovely. Second bathroom, lovely bath. Double sinks. And the choice of colour and the features, you can see all of this is really top quality. Fabulous staircase. Like the ironwork there. I think there's stone stairs as well going up into this. Wow, that's an interesting space. So this looks like an office. What would you use it for? Would you use it as an office or create more entertaining space or bedroom space even? 
Wow, what a fabulous room this is. I wonder what it is. Oh my goodness, so this is an indoor swimming pool. I didn't even know it had one, it's great. That's fabulous, and it's glass, so you can, it actually looks like a fish tank when you're swimming in it, how fabulous. And a gym, so it's a downstairs gym, so I presume that that is a big entertaining space for parties. There's lots of little bars, another bedroom, fabulous colours throughout this property. What do you think about colours? Are these the type of things that you would do yourselves? Would you change it? Would you have all of these different colours? Very subtle, but very gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. I mean, this is just absolutely spectacular. And when you looked at it from the front, you would never have expected all of this to be behind. I mean, that's absolutely magnificent. Wow, look at the views. So this is obviously on different levels going up through the stone staircase and this outside space is just magnificent. Yep, so it looks like it's at least three storeys. So we've been up in the sitting area with that balcony there and then we're down on the ground into the park. Pond there as well. So you get the real feel of the countryside, but when you see the views, you can see that you're not too far away from all of the facilities, shops and um, restaurants and bars and sort of more life, but oh, it's the castle entrance. What a superb property. I mean, that really gives you the best of both worlds. Fabulous. And such lovely original features, all of those stone walls outside the villa. I mean, they really are gorgeous. Big ancient trees. Steps down to the pond. So that's the end of that viewing um, for that property, but do subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, because we're going to be bringing you so many more little gems like this that you just won't see anywhere else. Um, go to our website if you want more information in English or French. Um, the details are on our website below, legitfrance.com or legitimo.com, and you will be able to get the full details, room sizes and everything else. But do subscribe because we'd love to see you again and love to show you some more properties.